guys, hello girls, how are you? We are back once again with another exciting episode. Today, we are going to learn about a really unique topic. We are going to learn about unique and cool transportations around the world. And on top of that, adjectives. Let's go! Did you know that there are different types of transportations all around the world? Well, for today's lesson, we will learn a few interesting and cool things. We are going to differentiate different transportations, match different transportation to its origin, learn what are adjectives, list at least four adjectives related to each transportation, and lastly, write at least four sentences based on a picture using correct adjectives. So, are you excited? Let's do this. Let's go, boys and girls. Have you seen different modes or different types of transportation in our country? Well, if you noticed, there are many different transportations around and available in our country. In Malaysia, you have many transportations that move differently. And the common ones that you see may be cars, lorry, buses, trains, MRTs, and motorcycles. There are also transportations like aeroplanes, helicopters, and ferry. So, have you seen any of this? We have seen the examples of transportations around our country, Malaysia. What about the ones out of our country? Do you know that there are incredibly unique transportations around the world? What I'm about to share with you may surprise you and some of them may be the ones that you have actually heard of before. Let's go. Let's discover, boys and girls. Firstly, the suspension railway in Germany. This railway is so cool because it was opened in 1901 and at this point, it is the oldest electric elevated railway with hanging cars. Can you imagine how cool that would be? It was built using 19,200 tons of steel and every day, over 85,000 passengers use this railway to travel around the area. Secondly, is the Coco Taxi in Havana, Cuba. When I first saw it, it actually looks like coconuts. The color too was really bright and vibrant. These yellow taxis shaped like coconuts can be seen in Havana and Varadero. In fact, they are faster and the best part is, they are actually less expensive compared to those regular taxis. So looking at all this, 
I am actually hoping that I would be given a chance to try them someday, don't you? The next school transportation is actually really famous in Portugal. Originating in the 19th century, this unusual transportation started as a fuss and definitely a fun way of getting down the hill. It actually resembles those slides that you actually play at the playground. And you can actually slide down the two kilometer curved street, which actually takes about 10 minutes. Don't you think it sounds like a day in a theme park? This next one is pretty close to us. It is located in Cambodia. This bamboo train is made up of an electric generator and a makeshift bamboo platform as seating. What is cool is that they can go as fast as 40 kilometers an hour. And when you look at the fares, it is actually pretty low. So this unique ride is definitely one great experience that we should all try at least once in a lifetime. Unlike the others, the next one is exceptionally fast. The maglev from China is super fast. It takes a 30 kilometer journey in just seven minutes. In addition, the magnetic repulsion is used to keep itself above the track. So, can you actually imagine the speed of the train can actually reach up to 431 kilometers an hour. That is super fast. not the one that quacks. Well, this is a different kind of duck. These duck are actually amphibious trucks that were designed by the American military in World War II. Wondering why it's called amphibious? Well, it is called amphibious as it can run in both land and water, just like ducks. You can try riding these trucks when you're in London, and it actually takes you around famous landmarks all around the city of London. For some of us, we keep dogs as pets, right? But in Alaska, it's different. There is a transportation known as dog's sled. Yes, you heard that right. With this ride, you will be pulled by a pack of four to six trained dogs, and it allows you to glide all across the ice. This mode of transportation is celebrated each year with a 1,000 150 mile race from the Anchorage to Nome. And lastly is the very famous gondola. It is a very famous transportation in Venice, Italy. And tourists like all of us would actually take this ride to see the attractions of the city. We've seen all the unique transportations around the world, let's move on to the next segment. You've seen all those unique transportations all around the world, right? But did you know that you can actually describe those transportations using awesome words? Different kind of words. And we 
actually have huge amount of words that we can use and that you can use to describe different things and different people beautifully. And we call all these words adjectives. So, boys and girls, what are adjectives? Adjectives are basically words that we use to give more meaning and most importantly, to describe a noun. Adjectives can be used as a determiner or sometimes when you express your opinion and of course, to describe the size of something. For instance, you may want to use the words words like big to describe an aeroplane that is big in size. You can and you may also use words like beautiful and pretty to describe a newly bought car. In addition, you may use adjectives to describe the shape, the age, and of course, colors of all sorts of nouns. You may use words like flat, round, old, new, and of course, like I said, all the colors in this world to describe things. Lastly, you may use adjectives to talk about origin and materials of a noun. For instance, you may use words like American, Mexican, Brazilian to describe the origin of a person or even a thing. And you may also use words like wooden and steel to describe the materials of things around you. In general, adjectives are commonly known as describing words. It basically gives you more information about something or someone. And lastly, most importantly, it gives you more meaning. Let's get going with practice time. you are required to describe the pictures shown to you with adjectives. Now, let's all think of four words to describe this car. I have used these words to describe this car. Firstly, red to show the color of the car. Secondly, steel body. Third, fast. And lastly, four wheels to describe the amount of wheel this car has. So, do we actually have any similar answers? 
next one. Think about four words to describe this aeroplane. To describe the aeroplane, I have used four different words. The first one, enormous. Enormous to describe the size that is big. The second word, wide, to describe the body of the aeroplane. Thirdly, flying to describe the way it moves. And lastly, heavy to describe how heavy this vehicle is. So, what about yours? This picture shown is a submarine and it moves underwater. Let's think again of four words to describe this submarine. Well, I have used yellow to describe the body of the submarine. Light to describe its weight underwater. And I've used the word underwater to describe where the submarine moves. And lastly, I used three to describe the number of window panes on the submarine. So, boys and girls, we are now at the most interesting part of the lesson. It is now time for challenge. And in this segment, you are required to challenge yourself using all the input that have been given earlier. So, shall we start? First, try to think of a transportation that you have seen. It can be anything. Now, I would want you to think of five words that you would use to describe the transportations that you thought of. Was that easy? Now, let's guess these transportations. So, can you guess what is this? Yes, the picture shown to you is a bicycle. But now, in today's day, bicycles usually have two wheels of the same size. Can we do this again? What do you think this is? This actually moves on air. And yes, what you saw earlier was the aeroplane back in those old days. Look at how much the aeroplane has evolved. So, boys and girls, we definitely have to thank and give credit to the designers and creators of such amazing transportation that have made our lives today so much easier and definitely better.
since there are so many types of transportations around the world that could be described in numerous ways and actually go way back in the olden days, let me share a couple of cool fun facts with you. In today's world, there are different types of airplanes and of course, there are different types of airlines that can take you from one place to another. Did you know that the very first aeroplane was created by two siblings? They are known as the Wright brothers and they created the aeroplane in 1903. And this is how it looked like. It seems pretty cool, right? Next would be cars, the most common mode of transportation. It is actually one of the most common transportation in the world. However, the history of how it was created goes way back. So you see, many investors came up with their own designs in the 18th and 19th century. However, analysts universally refer Carl Benz car model of 1885 as the very first automobile. And up to today, Benz is still creating cool cars. were designed definitely look different than our common cars today. Don't you think so? Now, let's get going to the next segment. Let's look back at what we have learned today. We have seen different types of transportation from all around the world. Don't you think they were pretty unique? Remember we learned about those describing words? Yes, adjectives. You may and you can use them to describe anything and almost everything in this world. In today's mega challenge, you will have to test your knowledge on adjectives, and of course, on transportations. For this task, you will have to write at least four sentences using transportations and adjectives. Remember, use the adjectives to describe the transportations. Underline the adjectives and circle the transportations in your sentences. Most importantly, remember to be careful in your choices of adjectives. Let's look at an example. There is a cute pink car on the road. Cute and pink are the adjectives and car is the transportation chosen. So, before we end today's episode, I would just like to remind all of you to always stay safe on the road. Most importantly, buckle up your seat belts, seat belts and stay safe no matter where you are or wherever you're going. So I guess that's all for today. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Stay safe!